Uh, first of all, this is my first trip up here to Sioux Falls. Bosses, how y'all doing tonight? Woo! My name is Jaquan Jones. I'm from North Carolina. But I just want to talk about a few things. I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm nervous like Donald Trump at a Kanye West concert. <laughs> <laughs> so bear with me, please. I want to talk about Bob. This is this is what I call my, my granny's blessing. She gave me a blessing before I came up here. She said, baby, go do your thing. Go do your thing, baby. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna open up here with South Dakota. I love y'all weather, first of all. It's a lot of snow. My first trip up here, I was excited, I was happy. I was like, yeah, we got snow. This is cool, this is shit. <laughs> About a week or two later, it was more snow. Then it was more snow and it just kept coming. So I don't like South Dakota because of the snow. <laughs> it's a very beautiful place, a very beautiful place. I wanna talk about my mom. My mom was a very religious woman and she could kick your ass at the same time. <laughs> she was the type of woman, she said weird things to me, but you know, it kind of threw me off a little bit. When we got a little older, she kind of started explaining a lot more things in life, like, hey son, I know that you thought your father smoked marijuana, but it was really me. And she said that she did it because it made their sex life better. Extremely uncomfortable conversation with her. <laughs> Extremely uncomfortable conversation. I want to talk about my brother. I got an older brother as a conspiracy theorist. He believes in Bigfoot. And he also believes that if you go to a FEMA camp and there's barbed wires and dogs and guard or guys with guns and everything, that you should probably not go in there. So I'm telling him, like, why would I go in there? I don't need tissue that bad that I gotta go and, and see dogs and and things of that nature. I was like, I said, I'm a little nervous here, but this is my first time doing this comedy thing. I've been wanting to do comedy since, I'd say about 95, that's my first show. My first show, I, the only thing I could talk about was we was in church, so the only thing I could really talk about was Michael Jackson. That's all I had. <laughs> and that's when he was black. He had, he had a big nose right there. And then when he died, he had a nose that was like that. But it was, it was when he was part of the black delegation, we had to give him <laughs> You know, you got monkeys and, and animals in your ranch and stuff like that. It's just not cool. It's just not cool. But I'm still, like, I'm still a fan. But mom, I want to talk about my mom and her Bible skills. She loved the Bible so much that we was in church at least maybe four or five times a week, every day, if we could possibly be there. You know the type of church where the, the pastor comes out and, <laughs> I'd like to thank the congregation out here today. <laughs> this is uh, Corinthians first, uh, chapter 316 here. And you know, they got in a little town, they come out with a the town, the Lord said, ah. and I said, Dear Jesus, ah. and the Lord, the Lord. That's how the type of church I went to. But you know, it was the type of church, everybody was hyphy and everything, but then when they got out, everybody was cool, smoking cigarettes and everything, gossiping about everything going on. But I figured my mom, I used to, my mom used to call me a lot and tell me I need to give my life to Christ, and she told me that comedy wasn't my thing. She said that the Lord had a different plan for me, and she said that I was supposed to be a pastor. It was very scary to me. I said, that's a lot of pressure, because I do a lot of sinning. So I can't give up those scenes right now, because I got a lot of things that I do. So the only way that I could get her to stop talking was to start confessing my sins. <laughs> I had to tell her things that she didn't want to hear. When she stopped, and she left me alone. <laughs> and, uh, she said she's going to... Like, she's gonna co-sign this comedy thing because <laughs> But um, that's all I got for y'all. Yeah. Uh,